What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have a massive horror action figure unboxing from our toy hunt the other day. We went on toy hunt, kind of cleared out the Target NECA horror action figure section. But we do have a lot of horror action figures represented here. It is the month of October. We like to do a lot of horror videos in the month of October here. So today, man, we're going to be unboxing all of these figures. And I don't know how long this is going to take, but it should be fun, man. We're going to unbox every figure. We're going to talk about it, show off what they come with, all these different things, man. So we do have a lot of figures here, as you can see. I mean, tons and tons of figures figures here, man. Just stacked to the rim. To the rim of what? I don't know what the heck I'm saying right now. But nonetheless, man, we're going to take each figure one by one individually and just kind of unbox it, talk about it a little bit, showcase it, and add it to the collection. And then, and then of course, all these figures will go into our massive box of horror figures that we will showcase later on. So that being said, man, let's dive into all these horror figures. Alright, so we're getting things started with these Toonie Terror figures, and the first one we have up is the Freddy Krueger figure. Now, I think I've owned a couple of these in the past, but I don't have a ton of them, but so we found a lot of them on our toy hunt, and they're actually looking pretty good here, so we have Freddy Krueger here. Comes with these little backgrounds. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't really care about the background. So I'm just going to be unboxing the figure here. So let's crack this SOB out of the packaging. So these seem to be pretty standard. It looks like they come with a little like stand here for the figure, which is pretty cool. You know, they don't have the best, you know, standing ability. They're not like fully posable action figures, but they are toys and figures like they do have a little bit of articulation. So here's our Freddy Krueger. He's got a little arm articulation right here. So a little bit of, you know, just like a kind of a shoulder rotation or like, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that, but he's got kind of this like weird stance going on, kind of like he's creeping up on you. You know, not the best head sculpt of all time, but not bad. I think it's cool for a little cartoony action figure of Freddy Krueger. Next up, we have a cool one. We have the O. OG Pennywise right here. Nice lots of like bright colors and stuff like that. Toonie Terrors. Really looking forward to expanding the Toonie Terrors collection now that we have so many of these. It's going to be fun to like find these on toy hunts and add them to the collection. So here he is right here. He does come with a really cool balloon accessory. Now what's cool about this is I don't know if NECA, I think NECA, okay NECA does make these figures. I just now noticed that because this is literally the exact balloon that comes with his, you know, full size ultimate Pennywise. And it's got the bendy wire with the balloon on there. This is a really nice touch. Much better than anything Freddy Krueger came with by God. So I'm definitely feeling the Pennywise a whole lot more than the Freddy Krueger. He just has better like girth to him, you know. He's a little hefty. He just feels kind of like a quality statue. And he's just got the arm rotation there, but I like this one a whole lot. This is definitely my my favorite of the Toonie Tears that we've unboxed so far. I know we've only unboxed two, but uh, this is pretty quality. I like the Pennywise a lot. Next up is a cool one. We have the Ash figure here from Evil Dead. Now, he's pretty cool. He comes with his own pump shotgun, and that's pretty nice right there. I like that. It's pretty, you know, it's kind of got that cartoony look to it, but it's real matte and flat. All right, so I was really high on the Pennywise, and now I'm liking the, the Ash figure a lot, man. Like, look at all the bloody head sculpt in here. He's got the chainsaw hand. got the blood all over him. He's got the rotation here, and he's even got a spot where you can stick the gun inside of his little uh, gun holder or whatever the hell you want to call it there, so that's even cooler. This is uh, awesome. He kind of looks like a Scooby-Doo character almost, so I think that's cool. Even like this leg style. That is very much, it's, it's, uh, man looks like he crawled right out of, like, an R-rated version of Scooby-Doo or something. Next one, a personal favorite of mine is Beetlejuice, looking damn good here. Excited to have Beetlejuice in the collection. I'm noticing that not all of them come with stands. I guess it's just Freddy Krueger can't stand very well. So we do have the Beetlejuice figure here. Really gnarly head sculpt here. He even has a head rotation right there, and he does rotate right there. And uh, he kind of has, like, this slight bend. And honestly, if you, like, lean his arms back, it looks like he's going for the swanton bomb off a ladder like Jeff Hardy. But I've always dug uh, Beetlejuice's suit here. It looks really clean. Green hair looks good. Facial expression is good. Very cool figure. Really glad we decided to grab the Beetlejuice one. All right, man, next up we're getting into Pinhead. Sort of a, you know, a different vibe going on with Pinhead. So he does come with his cube. Pretty good. Good sculpt and coloration on there. Not very realistic, but it gets the job done. So the first thing I think of with Pinhead when I see him is I think of his voice, just how like menacing his voice is. And this is cool because he has like the rotation here and he does have the little rotation at the elbow so he can actually hold the cube, which is nice. But solid looking head sculpt here. Another thing I think of with Pinhead is I just think back to my the days of Blockbuster. You go into Blockbuster and you look at the different horror films and he just always stood out on the shelf like the VHS covers and DVD covers of Pinhead and Hellraiser movies was always cool so that's pretty good you know he's kind of just a block statue there but he's got a little bit of articulation going on we're moving on to the reagan figure which is cool it even comes with projectile vomit which is just gnarly you get our interchangeable vomit accessory i mean you gotta have that you get your projectile vomit head accessory which is freaking just this is awesome man i didn't even notice this when i bought the figure and then we have our non-threatening little girl here so that's good she's got vomit all over her sweater mama spaghetti i did i can't believe i didn't notice that she came with a vomiting head sculpt we gotta put the vomiting head sculpt on. So she comes with an interchangeable head sculpt, something we haven't seen yet in these figures. Definitely putting her on display, vomiting, projectile vomiting. I mean, you gotta have this. Oh yeah, 
that's the good stuff right there. <laughs> Next up, we are diving into our Leatherface Toonie Terrace figures. Actually, let's get some of this trash out of the way. All right, so now we're looking at Leatherface, and just like Pennywise, he's got a lot of heft to him. Bigger character, bigger stuff going on with him. You know, they say everything's bigger in Texas as they go. So he does come with his ginormous chainsaw accessory. That's pretty good. It's got the yellow color on there, nice sculpt to it. Pretty decent little job here on the chainsaw. And then you have Chainsaw Massacre to Leatherface. Looking pretty damn good here. The rotation again. So he's got the elbow swivel and the rotation there. There, which is very cool. He's got the teeth bracelet. Pretty solid head sculpt going on there too. And then there he is holding the chainsaw. Pretty clean. Very hefty as well. Next up we have our first NECA figure. We have the Bride of Frankenstein figure going on. Lots of interchangeable stuff going on with her. We're going to unbox her real quick. And I got to be very easy. I'm not just going to tear this open because I like to keep these boxes. All right, man, so here it is. It does come packaged like this. You know, it's got the, dude, the soft goods on this is crazy. Like, oh my God, I would put this on my bed. I would sleep with this. Not like that. Pop this off. Well, I guess she's alive, huh? Now, I'm not going to go through every accessory here because we'd be here all day, but you do get some cool, like, wrapped up bandage accessories and stuff like that. Like, head sculpts are pretty cool, interchangeables. You get some, like, wrap things here. Different interchangeable hands. You got this screaming expression here. And low-key, her, her hair kind of reminds me of my grandmother, like my great-grandmother growing up. Now, it wasn't like this tall and like this, like, protruded backwards, but I don't know, something about that's kind of peaceful. I don't know, that's kind of crazy. So here's the bride out of her packaging, man, and again, this silky, like, cloth right here is crazy, man. I would add, like, this feels like my wife's shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, this feels crazy good, but nonetheless, really good likeness on this head sculpt. I'm glad to add this. I do have the black and white version or the gray version or the grayed out version of regular Frankenstein, which is actually right here, so look at that right there. Now I have them to go together. So I really wanted the black and white version because it pairs well with this version of Frankenstein, so that's why we did that, but really nice to have her in the collection now. Next up, we have another Toonie Terrors figure. We have the 27 Remake Pennywise. I enjoyed the the remake. I thought it was pretty solid. I enjoyed it, you know, all the good stuff. So here's Pennywise out of his out of his packaging here, or not quite, I guess. But just like the uh, the first version. And I always tend to ask people, are you team remake or team OG Pennywise? For me personally, I am OG Pennywise, but that may be just me, you know, my age showing. But we do have the red balloon here with the bendy wire. He also comes with the SS Georgie, which is pretty cool, you know. That's not all he took from Georgie that day. And then here's Pennywise with his face. Pretty cool, you know, cartoon version. Gray attire, red buttons, cool shoes. I like this design of him. Now, this might be our last Toonie Terrors figure, I think, but it is the Michael Myers here, and he does have the bloody streams coming down. I believe this is from Halloween 2, where he got shot completely in the eyes. I mean, Loomis just must be damn dead shot, man. Now, Michael does come with this really cool jack-o'-lantern here with the skull in the front, which is pretty nice. Nice little just display item, you know. I think it adds to the accessories. And then, obviously, what would Michael be without his his knife? Gotta have the signature knife, and it's got blood on it, which is a cool touch. And then here is Michael holding the knife, and I like this one a lot. I really... Okay, so he's got a little bit of head articulation, which is cool. That's pretty damn neat right there. I like the eyes blacked out. I got the blood in there. Uh, also, he, again, that stylized cartoon look looks like he just jumped out of Scooby-Doo is what it reminds me of. So, really cool Michael figure. I'm glad we added this to the collection. Now we have a lot of the horror icons, so that works for me. At the end of the video, I'm going to have to pick a favorite figure, and I don't know who the hell I'm going to choose right now. Next up, we're jumping into Halloween Kills, which is the second movie of the trilogy, or the most recent trilogy here. We have Halloween Kills, the ultimate Michael Myers. Now, I think the Halloween Ends version is on pre-order still, and don't get me effing started on Halloween Ends, but he comes with a slew of really cool accessories, so I'm excited to get Michael out of the packaging. And then you have this really beautiful shot of the figure here on the left side. Honestly, should have just re reviewed this, but I'll probably just wait to the Halloween Ends figure comes out, and we'll review that on the channel. So here's Michael out of the packaging, man. Got that burnt head sculpt in there. Really gnarly looking, man. I think NECA did a great job. NECA has never doubted on the details. I mean, look at that right there. It really looks like his face got burned, his hair got burnt. Looking pretty sweet. Then going down into his mechanic suit, you guys know he's got some bullet holes, stab wounds, all the different stuff going on. He's got like that black charred look. And this figure comes with some really amazing accessories. And you get this sick ass baseball bat. Got the Louisville Slugger. It's got good wood grain to it, good color, good size. So you can hit dingers in the park. I have no idea what this is. I don't know the official term for this, but you get a bloody metal bar thing accessory to beat somebody over the head with. This one's really bad. Eh? You have this light tube here that's like broken half and it's got blood all over it, so it's a shattered light tube. Very, very sweet right here. You can use this in wrestling matches as well. 
You have his just standard kitchen knife, synonymous with Michael Myers. You have a bloody version here with like a more like light brown handle, which is pretty cool here. You get your interchangeable Michael head sculpt that just has the eyes blacked out, which I think is a really sweet one. You get these two interchangeable hands here. You have like the fingers cut off bandaged, and then you have like a, a knife gripping hand, and then kind of like a just, you know, relaxed style hand, which is pretty nice. Nice detail on these. And then probably my favorite accessory is this like mask that you can use. You can put it on different figures, but it's like this squished skull that's got blood all over it. I really dig this. I think this is awesome. So, it's got this indention in there. You could use it as like a flattened piece, I guess, like he's stepping on it and squishing somebody's skull, or you could put it on somebody, so it could work as a workable mask. Alright, man, next up, we are looking at the Trick or Treat NECA Ultimate Sam, and I'm here for it, man. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. He looks pretty damn good. I think, you know, he's more of a smaller figure, but you get a ton of different items in here, man. Let's get this guy out of the packaging. So here's the figure. Pretty good sculpts on here. I like everything going on. His arms are double jointed, which I really like. I just like the realistic tones they give him here. He just, I don't know, he's always gave up Knife Mare before Christmas vibes to me. And he comes with some really good accessories here. We got the jack-o'-lantern there, which is pretty nice. I thought the top came off of it, but it does not. It's got some good cuts in there. Now this one I kind of broke on accident. I think my like finger slipped and it hit this and it, yeah, I mean, yeah. So I think you like shove this down in here and you can like press it. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to glue it or something, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> oh, you you dumb jagaloon. Yeah, you can like press this and it glows and uh, I broke it because I'm a dumb jackass. But we also have our smiling head sculpt, which is pretty cool. We also have a bag uh, of different things. I mean, what could he be holding in his bag, you know? Bag of candy, bag of things, you know, you just find out for yourself. We have our maskless head sculpts, which are pretty cool. Really good details in here. Nice paint apps as well. And then you have the one where he's oozing pumpkin stuff out of his head. So that's pretty cool as well. I mean, these are just wicked, man. These look really damn good. Outside of that, you do have his hand that's removable right there, or just the hand that's been removed. You have a weapon-wielding style hand. You have the chocolate bar with the razor blade in it, which has a really nice sculpt to it. It's really hard to see, though. Really nice sculptures on this one. And then we have this tiny lollipop pumpkin thing here with a bite taken out of it. Next up, we do have the Ultimate Ash from Evil Dead. This one I'm really excited about, man. This figure looks phenomenal. He's also got all of his different weapons in here. Let's crack this guy out of our packaging. Alright man, so here's the Ash figure, looking very good, man. I mean, holy crap, that head sculpt's phenomenal. The clothes look really good, really enjoying this. I wish it was double-jointed arms and knees, but, you know, I'll let it pass since we do get some really cool stuff going on with it. Really excited to finally add this to our collection. Figure looks damn good, man. This is such good stuff. Now, let's get into the accessories that come with this figure. My personal favorite is probably going to be the rifle. I just think the rifle looks so good. The good metal gray and the colors and everything going on. This rifle is really sweet. We also have our chainsaw accessory in the red and the silver and the gray and everything, man. This looks so good. Good. Really realistic tones that we're getting out of this chainsaw here. Really dig this. Now we just need an operational figure chainsaw and everything will be right in the world. We also have this axe accessory. Again, nice gunmetal gray and like realistic markings on it. And then you have the handle, which is a nice wood grain, very clean axe accessory. Nice lantern here with the with the nice realistic tones. NECA always kills it with the realism, man. You just can't touch it. But it has a nice little subtle flame going on in there. We have the little transmitter radio here, which is nice. A little operational there. It can move a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Good detail to have this. This is a background piece or anything like that. Then we have this kind of like focused, determined style face sculpt here. Nice hair sculpt and coloration on this one. And then the second head sculpt is going to be this like, oh, uh, what the hell was that head sculpt? Looking off to the left with the mouth open. And all of them have a really good likeness as well. I think they did a great job on these. Especially the hair sculpt. I just think the texturation in the hair looks really clean. Next up, we do have the Halloween 2 NECA 2-pack here. Ultimate Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis. And the first time I got this, it was actually broken. And so I had to order a replacement for it. So I'm happy to add both of these here. Nice shots of the figures and stuff. And this is my first time actually having the Dr. Loomis figure. So uh, let's get these bad boys out of the packaging. All right, man, so here are the figures. I did change locations because uh, I ran out of real estate over there. So we're changing locations. Here's the Dr. Loomis and the Michael Myers. They look really damn good, man. I'm really impressed with the Loomis, especially these head sculpts. Uh, yeah, man, they're getting all the details in there. I like the, you know, the cream color and everything. Michael never liked Halloween 2 because, you know, the head shape. I do believe they changed actors so the mask fit differently. And then you have that, like, skin tone coming through on the neck because of the William Shatner OG mask and, like, the white fading over the time. But nonetheless, they're still pretty cool figures and stuff. They are single-jointed and stuff. Or Michael's double-jointed, but the knees are single-jointed and stuff. But, you know, NECA is all about the details rather than posability and stuff. But you do get uh, a ton of, like, really cool accessories. So we do get this cool skull jack-o'-lantern, which is really sweet. Always love these, man. They just really add to the, the whole entire display of the shelf, so I do dig the sculpting work on these. We also get a hammer accessory, which is really nice. Cool details here again. Wood grain, the seal, gunmetal grain, 
all that is really clean on this hammer. Now we do get a nice sedate syringe here, but you guys can see that, uh, yeah, it's a little bit bent. I'm gonna have to heat that up or something. I'm afraid that it's gonna break if I do it too much, but we do have a syringe here with a needle. I just got to uh, fix that a little bit with some heat and some cold water. I'll be able to fix that. Then we do have like this long seared knife here with the brown handle, which is pretty good. Nice. You can even see the teeth on there slightly. It's like very subtle, but you can still see it. So that's good detail. And then we also get this scalpel tool, which is like, that's crazy that they get these lines in there, man. I mean, that is so tiny, but the scalpel is a really nice look. And then you have the gunshot victim style head sculpt here with the eyes bleeding, which is similar to our Toonie figure we saw at the beginning of the video, but pretty nice Michael head sculpt here for the interchangeability. And you also get two different pistols here. They're slightly different. You get two different revolvers there, which you guys can see the handles are slightly different and then the barrels are slightly different. So you do get these nice little gun accessories for your Dr. Loomis. Then you get this interchangeable lighter hand sculpt here where he's got the lighter out and it's lighting it. So I think that's pretty good there. You got nice paint details and sculpts on this hand. And then you get a lot of cool little interchangeable hands for your Michael figure to hold different weapons and, you know, different stuff like that. And then you get these interchangeable arms, which are pretty cool. You can like put these onto the Michael and then you can set them on fire and the fire actually wraps around the figure so that it can appear he is on fire. So it comes with a ton of fire accessories that you can equip to the figure. And then he can be like walking while on fire. So you can put that on his back and then you have like this different fire that can hang on to him and then it looks like his arms are on fire and his torso is on fire and stuff like that, which I thought was really sweet. And then the last thing we have is the Frankenstein accessory set, man. I'm so excited to dive into this thing. I can't wait to crack it out. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. I think it's going to be this table here. We're going to see what all you can do with this thing and what all this comes with. All right, guys, so about an hour later, I finally assembled this thing. No, seriously, though, this thing is crazy. I mean, it's it looks awesome. It's a little flimsy, not as sturdy as I'd like, but it gets. I think it checks the boxes. It gets the things done, but it's a cool piece and everything like that. It's just, uh, it, it's a little bit harder to get, you know, figured out here, but it does come with, like, you know, the mummy-wrapped head sculpt for your Frankenstein figure, which is cool. It also comes with this lit-on-fire 2x4 stick, you know, to, I, I don't know if this is just to light the lab or if this is to, you know, chase, you know, Frankenstein out of town with. And then you have this little towel accessory that goes under here, I think, but I just left it off. But it's a cool table. I think it is, you know, nice. It's a nice size and everything. Uh, here's just a Roman Reigns figure just randomly. You could uh, you could stick him on here like it's good scale. Look at that, it looks like he's floating. But you know what I'm saying. I think I think it is going to scale well with a lot of you know six seven inch figures. Uh, it scales well with the, the neck of Frankenstein, so that checks the box as well. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot, and it also comes with this cool background piece, which I thought was sweet. But yeah, this is the last thing that we had to unbox. But I really like this thing. I think it's really cool and operational. And these things like go up and down, so you can like slide this up. Take that off, put the figure on there. The best thing to probably do is probably pull all these out because they're not like in there really good. You could easily like adjust them. So I'd say pull all of them out and then just stick them back in their holes so you can like secure a guy in place. But you know what? We might as well. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's put somebody in here that way. You know, that way we can lock somebody down. So here's just a random Brian Danielson or uh, wrestling action figure, you know. He's right here, and he may not be long enough, to be honest with you, because his legs need to come down here, but you can still trap him. Put that right there, cinch that down right there, cinch that down right there, cinch that one down there, cinch his arms down, find the other effing arm hole. So there you go, and I don't even need the leg holes because he's not tall enough, so there you go. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up our horror unboxing video, man. That's pretty much going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Was, it was a lot longer than I expected. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it also comes with this nice cover, so you can take this, lay it over him there and then look at that you have your own little nice science experiment brian danielson but anyways man that is going to pretty much wrap up this video huge shout out to our patron supporters of the mdt youtube channel always appreciate those guys really enjoyed the horror unboxing it went a lot longer than i expected but uh, now we can add all these figures to our massive horror box and add them to our setups and all the future videos that we do for october and the horror action figure videos man but that is going to wrap up today's video Again, huge shout-out to the Patreon members. Always love those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you're interested in that, check the link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm out of toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.